Okay, well, I'm going to take a walk around the property to see if we can see any animals. And if not, we'll just take a nice walk and show you around the property again, which uh, if you watched the video where I mowed the lawn, then you did see the trails. But if not, then this will be new. Hopefully we'll come across some deer sign or some deer and enjoy the video. Partridge. That's weird. <laughs> I definitely didn't put that there. Deer scraping right there.
It's so hard to walk quietly when there's leaves on the ground. Keep my eyes out for a good Christmas tree. Got potential back in there. It's erratic at the tops. Something with a good full top. It's not too bad. No, it's kind of spindly at the top too, isn't it? Get one of these tall trees. I'm gonna just cut the top so I don't have to take the whole tree. I just take the top off, and then it'll continue growing from there. So I always try to do that. Check down this way. A lot of blackberry bushes through here. They like to catch the pants. <laughs> cars back in here. Let's see if we can get over there. Old trucks and an old car. Oh. <laughs> the old fiberglass bolt here too. It's so funny to think that all these Cars and trucks got back here. So big trees. There's a rabbit. Shoot. I don't know if you were able to see it in the video because kind of blinded and all I saw was its tail. Two old trucks. Buick. Yeah, these will wonder things like things like this, like unbroken tail light, things like that pull off of them would be something to to sell off of it. Tie my shoe. Uh, old 
steering wheel. That's an old, an old Chevy. A wheelbarrow in there. got the engine in it. Some of these things really wonder what they are. Oh, old security light it looks like. Continue on the trail here. Something else stuff changes. My my dad would set up one year we had a this ground blind up there because this is a deer trail going right through here. 
There was ground plane there. And then up here. Changed a lot just in the last couple of years. I haven't really come up here since dad. I've gotten a Christmas tree from up here before. Yeah, see, I haven't gone up through here for a while because this is all blackberry bushes through here. It's thick now. <laughs> Some potential Christmas trees around in here. And then, uh, usually we'd go through the, over there, but with those blackberry bushes, I don't really want to go that way. Uh, we had a couple years, I think it was in a row, had the ground blind set right up over in here. Whoa, ouch. Yeah, it was set up, actually it was right, right here. Because then we got, it's a big open field through that opening there. And the deer trail would come right straight through here. We had the ground blind right here. But now with the blackberries, they got some big thorns, so they grab onto you. I don't know if the deer are walking through here anymore or not. A couple years, well, about five, six years ago now, or more, maybe. Had a deer walking right through there and it was making a swish noise, and snorting at me and stuff. It's a doe. With all the potential Christmas trees, it's something how hard it is to find one. It's got some good thickness to it. Last year's Christmas tree I actually got from next to the pond at home. It had a good top. It made a really good Christmas tree last year. I always get my Christmas tree the first of first of November. I don't know if everybody's like, you know, it's Christmas, it's not even Thanksgiving yet for like a month, but you know, I, I love I love having the tree, the smell of the pine and and if and a kill or you know, I don't kill the trees anymore because I just take the tops instead of cutting the whole tree down. But still, it's like if you're gonna cut it down, why have it for like two weeks I take and I take advantage of it for as long as I possibly can ah here's a scrape a rut scrape for a buck oh good there's some bucks moving through here and this is a deer trail we're gonna follow the trail I gotta talk too much. I wanna see if we can come across any deer. So just stick with me. We'll see what we see. Oh, good. Another scrape. You can see if you look really close, you can see where the deer track is. Through here, the one right there, a little bit right there. So definitely a, an active buck. Very active trails, well traveled.
pull it. Uh, that's not too bad. A little thin at the top again. That one there, actually pretty thick at the top, but super big. <laughs> that's really tall. Or that one, it would be really hard. I've got my, actually it would be not too bad this year because I've got my pull saw, electric chainsaw pull saw. Oh. I think he kept going. Let's continue. In the past, I would put scent markers with the Doe ester on some of these trees on tags just to kind of keep the bucks coming in. And then I'll rub some on my bottom of my shoe so as I walk I wouldn't be spreading human scent, I would be spreading the scent of doe ester. Doe and heat. Trying to keep my eye out for buck scrapes too on the on the trees. With the when the bucks are losing their velvet on their antlers, they they rub their antlers on trees, scraping the bark off. But also what it's doing is getting rid of the, the velvet off of their off their antlers. And then they'll dry and then they got the the bone. It's, it's like the trail kind of goes back through the woods here. Still trying to see if I can find a oak tree. So I'd like to find some more acorns. Dad had a, pieces of it right here, a tree stand in this tree right here that he had built. And it, uh, it's a yeah, it it board on there, tree stand that he had put up in it himself. This, this hill was always just a grassy field, you know, with all these alder trees and stuff poplars and coming up in here and get through here and kind of cut all these out it was always nice to have this a nice open open field yeah the milkweeds so soft the stuff from milkweed I don't know if, you've, if you've never felt it it's like silk 
but then the seeds, it feels just like a silk. It's so this warm, I kind of keep my eye on my pants because they're just in case of the wood ticks are awake again with this heat. There's, uh, let's see, we'll, we'll go around down this way and then I'll show you the, we got a little pond back in here. Oh, still got a black eye Susan there. A lot of really cool looking mosses and stuff like that. Here, let's, we'll go this way. Take some routes I'd never take, so. Let's sneak for part of German and a bunch of frogs in here at white perch or is that a white perch that's a uh, it's not a white perch it looks like one but the bottom is a little different remember the kind of tree it is you know you know what kind of tree that is let me know in the comments I know it I just can't remember right now looks like a white perch at the top but the bottom it's not a white perch so it's kind of a, a look like there are white perch around Unless it is a whip. I don't know. No, it's not. Yeah, let's see what's the best way to go. Over that way is the trail. The motor trail. So we're going to go this way. The deer might have a path going down to this pond too. A couple of different trees lost their tops. Yes, there's a, it's kind of beat down along here. Some animal might be using this water for drinking. In the springs, really, you know, hearing the frogs and stuff singing. show you where this comes out. Well, none of these are thorns. <laughs> we'll be okay. There's the, the T intersection. And go up this way a little bit. Here we get blackberry and raspberry bushes. 
I got some thorns on them. That's kind of a, of a trail going through here. So good. The, oh, that fall smell of the, the leaves and, and stuff. Each season's got its own smell. Fall is one of my favorite. Well, winter's my favorite favorite because it's just the air is so crisp and clear. It smells so good. Fall with the leaves, and spring with the you know, first flowers and stuff. Yeah, something was walking through here. A little warm in the sun. We got some. There's an anthill there. A deer track in it now. Oh, still got a little purple flower looking thing. where I gather a lot of my grasshoppers for my ants this year. Small oak trees, I don't see the big oak. I think it'd be pretty easy to see them, but... Like a good seven and a half, eight foot tree. That that's got a really nice top, but that sucker's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 feet tall. <laughs> even topping it, you're gonna to try to top it up to the where it's seven and a half to eight foot tall, it's uh, pretty much impossible. Well, this is nice. This area here I mowed over the summer, I let this last spring, and they, it's nice it stayed kind of shorter. This used to be an open area too. I was thinking about, you know, someday if I put a, if I would ever put a cabin here, clear this little area right here and put a little house. Just a, doesn't have to be big. It's a kitchen, bathroom, family room, bedroom. Place to have a big screen TV and a computer. <laughs> it gets pretty warm over here in the summer though. But, it'd be a nice place for somebody to come stay. For, Okay, well, we do have some oaks, but they're 
They look like saplings. <laughs> Okay, well, if I can see my reflection to end the video. Thank you so much for watching and taking this little adventure with me. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't see any deer or anything like that, but I got to look around some areas that I usually didn't explore. Saw some deer trails and some scrapes, and checked out a couple old trucks and car in the woods. So, thank you so much. Remember, hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell icon so you know when new videos come out, when I go live and things like that. I really do appreciate you watching all the way to the end. You have a great rest of your day, and I will talk to you in the comments.